hi everyone this is benjamin and welcome back to black Bench solutions so in today's video tutorial we will be looking at how to create an invoice if this is your first time of being in here this is black Bench solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials so if you think videos of such nature will be of great benefit to you then i encourage you to hit on the subscribe button like the video don't also forget to leave your thoughts what you think about this video in the comment box below if you're already a part of this wonderful family, thank you so much for showing up once again. Without any further ado, let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin. Alright guys, so welcome back into the world of Photoshop. Now in here, I'm going to be creating a new document. I'm going to be using the size A5. So I have a custom or recently used files that I have used in here. So this is my A5. That's will come here to print, then maybe choose A5. Then I'm going to be naming this invoice then the, we will be printing this right so the color mode should change from rgb to cmy but for the sake of this video i'm going to be leaving this in rgb mode so when it's time for me to print it what i will do is i will just change the color mode back to cmyk right good so everything is okay all right so this is our nice looking canvas so before we kick start the design process what I would want you to take notice of is that when it gets to typing of the text, I would want to skip that part. And uh, but when it gets to maybe uh, bringing up the shapes, importing something, that one, I will leave that part so that we have a fair view of how to do that in case we are following along. But when it gets to typing, I will just tell you what I want to type. Then I will skip the part. Okay. So I believe we are good here. So can we begin? All right, so let's begin. So first of all, I'll be using my rectangle tool. So with this selected, I'm going to be drawing. Let me zoom this out by pressing Control minus. And let's create a rectangle. Sorry, this is not what I wanted. So I, I, I held on to the Shift key and that's why I had what came up first. All right, so this is what I have. Let me zoom this out. So control plus to zoom out, control minus to zoom. Control plus to zoom in, control minus to zoom out. What is that? Is that right? I think that's yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm going to be importing the logo that I'll be using for the invoice design. Then I'm going to be using the colors on the logo to create the invoice all right so i'm going to be putting this here but i'll be drawing a shape a shape on top of these logo so let me bring this shape all right so then let's go go this way then i'm going to be changing the color of this to a darker this so something this way uh, well this is looking okay then this is okay so then i'm going to be placing the logo on top of this shape so we can have a view of it you get it yeah you get it if you don't get it then forget about it so it seems we can have a clear view of the logo so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be changing the colors so this guy let's take the color of this so this guy let's take the color of this okay so this will be a bit darker than this one so let's see if we can make it black okay so this is okay all right so let me hold these two shapes and shift it back a bit all right so this brings us to the part where i'm going to do most of the typing and as i said early on i'm going to be skipping this part but let me first of all type the invoice and in here, I'm using a font by name Haraba. All right. So, guys, let me skip this part. I'm going to be doing most of the time. Let me skip this part and I'll get back to you guys shortly.
all right guys so we are done with the first part of the typing then we will move on, on to the other part where i'm going to be using another rectangle too then i'm going to be drawing a shape as this so from this portion then to this portion right so this will be the services so this should be in all white i guess then maybe we have a border a border line of an ash or maybe a border line of uh, this color good so guys uh, what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be reducing the size of this shape so control t to get a transform then i'm going to be reducing this to something this way good then i'm going to be changing the color back to uh, this color good so what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be duplicating these shapes so let's something like five or four so Control j then i drag to reduce this shape all right so i'm just going to change the fill color to white there you have it then i'm going to be duplicating for the other so let me quickly do that and i'll get back to you guys shortly okay so now now that we have all these shapes in here what i'm going to do next is i'm going to be grouping these shapes together all right so uh on on this shape we're going to have the let me say serial number we're going to have the uh, item description we're going to have the quantity we're going to have the price over here and we're going to have the total over here right so when it gets to the typing part i'm going to do that and uh what i'm going to do next is i'm going to be uh, duplicating this stuff so um, let me let me do that I've, I've, uh, so control J control T I'm just going to hold drag this down down a bit great then I'm going to be deleting this invoice off then I'm going to be leaving this but I'm going to be changing what it is so uh, this is going to be payment payment information then maybe uh, down on this part of the invoice I'm going to be leaving the uh, let me say the social media icons right so the social media icons are going to be there so let me quickly import the social media icons and I'll get back to you guys okay all right guys so welcome back from that break so uh, in here I would want to change this color of the shape the, so let me change the color in here um, to something like this all right so there you have it then maybe let me see if i can change the shape the color of the shape back to this all right so then let me change this uh, as well to this then maybe this one too All right, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be filling in this with uh, some dummy items. Then uh, I'm going to be doing the subtotal, the tax payable, and maybe the total amount that client is supposed to pay, and the uh, signature, and maybe some terms of con uh, terms and conditions that is apl applicable 
if there is fine if there is not then we leave it at this so let me quickly begin this so let me fast forward this portion guys Alright guys, so basically this brings us to the end of uh, the design process. It has been very hectic but with hard work and determination we were able to create this nice looking invoice. I believe you followed along properly and you have the same thing as I have in here. If you don't, kindly pause the video, rewind it and watch the place you didn't get right and make sure you get everything perfect. So the last thing before we end the video is the signatory part, okay? That is very important to have the signatory part on any other invoice that you design because that makes it look official. Without a signatory or without a signature, it is not or it is not an official invoice, right? So quickly, I'm going to create uh, a rectangle shape so something is going to be here this way this way then i'm going to be typing the name of the design manager which is let me say my name all right guys so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial if you enjoyed the video please do well to like it and also make sure to leave a comment in the comments below if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please do well to subscribe and make sure to check the bell icon to all so as to be notified whenever we release new videos until i come your way next time it is still blabbing solutions and see you in my next video